I'm hoping we just get more options later on. All right. Touching enemies hurts me because logic. But I hope we end up getting other options later on in the game, so when we deal with harder bosses, maybe we'll just have more ways just being like, nope, I'm out. I'm out. I, I would have loved, like, a fast option just being like, oh, you're, you're, you're running at me super quick? Not just jump out of the way, just oof, full, full fucking dash across the room. Maybe not that intense. I'm just... Mm. When bosses are capable of so much... And I'm definitely not. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I wonder how many. I, I didn't try too hard in terms of uh, other options. I didn't try to see if I could like slide under his attacks. Got any targets? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. So that's something I probably should have checked Good out. Work. Here's your reward. Okay, hold on. Do I even have? Uh, all oh, right. I was gonna say, should I equip those other rings? And if I want extra defense, maybe. But so far, I'm okay. Hello. Are you eating properly? So, what'll it be? All right. I really wish I had more potions. I just need healing. That's it. Jeez. Oh, wait. Oh. Can I dismantle the thing in the bird wings? Or not bird wings, uh, bat wings. So far, the answer is no. Fine. Johannes. How was it you figured out a way to stop the crystal from corrupting me? I hate to say it, but I borrowed a bit from Alfred's research. He was studying ways to slow down objects. My attempts only worked when I placed Enochian script equivalent to what he chose in the same circular pattern. Uh, I think I understand. Sort of. He used Alfred's research on slowing down objects and slowing down our crystal. <laughs> Do you now? And the only way he was able to do that was by copying one part of the formula onto his own. I understand that you're far smarter than me. Ha. Huh. And a poor teacher, apparently. It's okay, man, Alfred. I, you don't have to teach us anything. We don't know what the fuck Odokian script is anyways. I'm not even in this, ready for the same class at all. I found a carriage that will take me across the courtyard bridge, but a stone statue is blocking the way. What a coincidence. A message arrow just arrived from Zangetsu. In the Temple of Rainbow Glass, seek the demon carrying a stone statue in tribute. Okay. Perhaps that demon's shard is just the power you need. Does Zangetsu have Herculean strength? How did he manage to cross the bridge? He drew a little sketch here at the bottom of a burly man leaping a great chasm. <laughs> oh, come on. He jumped the bridge. Is there anything else you need? I mean, he also has a grappling hook. What are you looking to buy? Is this right? Thank you. I'm committed to just. I need these potions. I'm basically gonna save potions Thank for bosses. You. I'll be here if you need me. Did you forget something? I was just seeing if you had anything Thank else you. to say about Zengetsu. Like how I could perhaps play a Zengetsu. If it is even still a thing that is meant to happen, I just really want to play and have more things, more items to use. Hello? Stone mask once used by a tribal uh, chief during ritual sacrifices. Ooh, okay, that is creepy as fuck. Do I actually equip the ring? No, so there, there are just- I, I, I wonder if there's an icon that shows what things will show up on her character and what doesn't. 
But okay, we've got this mask, and it increases our resistance to, uh, curse, I guess. Curse and stone? I really want to find out more information on, on those categories, but for now, we just have to accept what we've got. Oh jeez, the bat gives me a shard too?! What the fuck? Summon bat. Oh, that's fair. Anyways, I will apologize for, or in advance, well, I'm sure I will complain more about my general options. I'll just also have to accept how she plays. Sometimes that's just how the game is, right? Your character plays slow because that's just how they were designed. And they're not going to go in advance in crazy ways in the future, they're just... You just gotta learn how to play. Get good. And I'm gonna keep pressing on. I'll just sometimes have some words to say about my displeasure. Oh shit. <laughs> I fell right into a ghost. What's down here? Am I doing more damage? Ow. I thought he was gonna go all the way up the staircase, honestly. Eleventh hour. Deflect physical attacks. Nodachi, Honi... Honi... Bami... Zangetsu. Or Zangetsu -o? Yeah, we already know that technique, but... Okay. I wonder if I can do any techniques at any time. Like, is there... No. I'm trying to see if there's any, like, zany things I could use. You know what? The capacity's probably for how many bullets I can carry. That would make sense. Hey. Oi, wait a minute. Are you human? I mean, I do have a mask on, so you, you, you're allowed to ask that question at this time. What does it look like? I I'm not sure. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Uh, yes, but these are... These are all the rage in Paris. Oh my god. Miriam. Oh, Paris. Wow, I've never been to Spain. What? <laughs> the name's Benjamin. Fucking what? Oh, it's Paris. Wow, never been to Spain. They're not the same, man. Uh... I'm Miriam. Benjamin, you shouldn't be here. In more ways than one, maybe maybe you should go somewhere else. Maybe a different continent. Maybe you should go visit Spain. They can talk to you in French. I know, I know. But I'm so scared I can't even stand up. Damn. I just want to go home. Hmm. Do I have any items that could help get him home? Uh... I would have to go buy oh, one. Damn! I just want to go home. Okay. <laughs> uh, you'll have to stay there for a bit. Uh, there was an item that I had that I just wasted on nothing, which was annoying, by the way. That shouldn't have even been an option, but you know, developers can't can't be responsible for all of my idiotic experimentations. Sometimes I just need to try and find out the answer in a more organic way, rather than forcing the experimentation. Sometimes forcing the experimentation is bad. Oh! <laughs> Fucking never mind. Alright, shut up, me. <laughs> or I can explore the environment because they'll give me a convenient item near the area, anyways. Damn. Waste down. This. this should help me escape. Yes. Picture your house, and don't let go of that thought. All right, all right, I'll try it. Goodbye, Benjamin. See you back in town. Maybe. I think it worked. I hope he ends up in some other place. That'd be so hilarious. 
Also, uh, the teleport room's right here. I want to have access back to it. Not his knee! Ouchies! Oh. Honestly, I haven't fought these things very legit. I've just been shocked waving them down. Whoops. Hey, maybe fight him through quite a few of them. Three, three big dudes in one room. That has me worried. Jian, shit, cathedral. Yeah, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Spooky. Also, damn, this game's been very linear so far. Like we're just gone in a straight line forever. What the fuck is that? It's a wheel. What the fuck? No, bad, bad painting. The Kickstarter supporters are attacking. So that was a wheel with bull legs. A portrait that has come to life. It seeks new subjects for its canvas. Beer, a leonine demon with five legs. <laughs> it just looks so fucking silly. I was about to say, can it go through walls? And I'm like, nah, it's, it's a poltergeist, guy, so probably. Welcome, company. Summons a poltergeist to create a, po a protection barrier. Mmm. What is that like? Arise, myself and my shadow. Oh. But can I still be hurt? Skill shard, a magic that has a permanent effect by acquiring the shard. What? This can be turned on and off? Score shortcuts. It is possible to call up the state registered with the menu. Shortcut. Oh! Whoa! Okay. So I can equip. Create a customized set of equipment and shards. Okay, alright. We're just gonna say Katana. And then we're gonna slap on my Nodachi. With. Cerulean Splashes at level 3? Or no, I just have three Cerulean Splashes for shards. Got you. Uh, we're gonna do... Gale Crawler. And then we don't really have anything else, so we're just gonna have to accept what we've got. I guess if I have nothing here, nothing will change. Yeah, so same thing maybe with the weapon. We'll do Gale Crawler. I'm starting to get the system now. And we're just gonna say... Gale. So now, if I hold the left trigger, I can swap over to Gale at any time, although I wish these had icons in the middle. They don't. I'm wondering why that is. Oh, there's a second one at the bottom, too. Shortcuts, too. Edit. Shield. We'll say magic shield. There. So now I can swap back and forth 
at least just for now, between my sword or my uh, shockwave and my shield ability. So if I want to damage this, shield this, and then at some point we're gonna have like a bunch of different ones depending on like their different abilities. Because some swords will be different for different enemies. Oh shit, I completely actually unequipped my sword. Uh. Nadachi. Oh shit! Okay, that is very specific. The shortcuts. So I was hoping that, um, because if you notice, the items that we have equipped here didn't change, but I have to actually equip the weapon for both of these, which sucks. Anyways, it doesn't fucking matter, because I died. I dodged the wrong way. <laughs> I was actually trying to go left... ...by facing right, and then dodging, and instead I dodged to the right. Yikes. That is... so... very, very sad. All right, what is this? Critical swing. Lash at enemies with a single mighty strike. All right. That's a standard just... Down diagonal forward. But I don't have the weapon. Oh, look! Look! Another instance of a save room being right here if I just explored downwards. Though to be fair, I legit did not see this area down here before. This little staircase? Definitely hadn't seen it yet. God, they just take an extra second to die. I hate these dog monsters! You know what's gonna be sad? I'm probably not even gonna have- I'm not gonna get the shard from the poltergeist this time! Got it! Thank God. I don't know if it's guaranteed from that second one, but uh. Oof. If you don't give him any chance to wind up, it's really silly. Alright, let's reread this again. Skill Shard, a magic that has a permanent effect by acquiring the shard. This can be turned on and off inside menu setting. Does not consume MP. Yeah, okay. Currently, I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna go ahead and just equip Scale Armor. I want defense right now over magic, and then we're gonna do... Enema Shard. I technically don't need Welcome Company. Especially now that I found out that it doesn't have, uh, shield stuff, but yeah. Yikes, this lady's fucking terrifying, dude. Oh, fuck me, the curse shit's gonna suck. I have a save now. But how do I get rid of fucking curses? Holy fucking shit. That lady took way too much fucking damage. What the shit? Okay, I kind of want to just progress so I can get the fuck out of here and never be in this room ever again. Oh, 
Holy shit, what? What? No! Oh no! Okay, there are secrets! I figured there might be secrets with secret walls, knowing that's there now. Yikes. Oh fucking goddamn it, no! Son of a fucking bitch! I was hoping that maybe she would stay a little bit hovered in the air so I could go under her because I couldn't jump over her! I just want to find a safe room so I don't have to deal with her! She fucking takes way too much damage for how much she can do! Oh, I've learned an animation cancel. That makes things a little bit better. I wonder if we have a high chance of getting a shard the f when we haven't gotten it from an enemy yet. Because it feels like generally within like two to like three enemies killed of a person, it's given me the reward. Shush, lady, you'll be fine. Okay, these guys definitely have 60 health. I actually never checked to see how much health demons have. Oh, actually, they have levels? Oh, shit. Level 8. Level 12. What the fuck? Really? I'm only level... Okay, I'm level 12 right now. Never mind. No. Oh my god, you got me with the last one. Alright, I'm going right. And I'm just gonna hope that whatever's over here is the correct way for me to go. Always the correct way to go, but I just... I need progression. And that's not gonna go... That's not gonna happen with an enemy that fucking can chunk me for half my health in, like, two attacks. What the fuck? There's a capacity item down there. What is this? I mean... Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's a giant cat, demon! What? Conjure a column of flame. Cool. I really don't like that every, like, half of the magic we've gotten have been under Conjure. I want the manipulative ones. Mostly because I've been real stingy and I really like Gale Crawler. It really seems to do a lot. But I'll try this out. Wait, he just reflected that at me. A reanimated cat that perished inside the castle and has a grudge to settle. <laughs> Jeez, that's silly. A dead is another demon realm. Practices sorcery. Okay, he might have just had that magic period. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Mostly because it has a chance to proc twice. Oh, you know what I didn't get this time? I didn't have the mask equipped. That could help me out a little bit too. 
Let's see, so this gives us two intelligence. Two defense. Or I could do this. And have extra luck, defense, conditioning. And a little bit of the curse resistance, which could have been helpful. Yeah, it sucks when you, when I die and I haven't, like, done something. I think I have to go back to, uh... Back to the home base. A demon! Wait! I'm a good killer barber! What? He talks? Butchers and cutthroats all say as much. Uh, I'm not a cutthroat! I've never cut anyone! Uh, well, 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 I have, but, but it's these scissors! They've cursed me to become a demon! <laughs> Are you sure about that? Then why not cast them aside? Cast them aside? If I could take them off, I wouldn't be cursed! Duh! That's fair. <sighs> also, is that Dominique's painting? Huh. The name's Todd. And the only way my curse will be lifted is if I barber my way through 666 different hairstyles. <laughs> Fucking what? Well, why not just make the hairstyles up then? Lop a little off here or there? Ah, there's a penalty for sloppy lopping. If I don't give my patrons good haircuts, the scissors kill them dead. You have the worst curse ever. That is pretty fucking awful. Yes, quite literally, yes. Please, can you help me find information about hairstyles? I'll catch you for free. That is not an enticing offer. <laughs> no, 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 not, not cut you, cut it. Uh, wait, what are you even worried about? You look like you could rip me into a hundred pieces. Hmm. I really could. All right, you have a deal. <laughs> Miriam is ridiculous. All right, let's change your hairstyle. <sighs> so, miss, shall I take a little off the top? Oh my god, we have legit hair options here. <laughs> a shame. My scissors are extra sharp today. Well, hold on, I can't see my face. Let's make sure we have that first. So, miss. So, what do we have? Mirror's appearance can be customized. Oh, we can change our main costume color! Oh, fuck yeah! I didn't know that! Uh, fuck yeah. Green and black, because of course. Or we can do black and green. Ooh. I feel like I like this one more, where the black's on the outside, green's on the inside. We can also change our skin color. I can become a zombie. That's that, that, that goes really far. I'm gonna leave those alone. I'm fine with Miriam being her default, like, everything else. But the costume, that's different. Different story entirely. Hair color, too. I kind of like her original hair color, too. I'm not really- I'm not really one for... changing the colors of the character too much when they're, uh... like an actual main character, you know? It feels wrong in a way, like a taboo. But if it was a customizable character, what would I want for her? Honestly, I don't know. I like her default hair more than this particular option, so I'll keep it like that, and then, uh... We'll do this. It really doesn't matter in the end, but... Thank you! Suits you fine. Thank you very much, Todd! I'll see if I can find you new hairstyles so that I... that we can experiment with them later on. God, I hope I- you know what? Fuck it. I was gonna say, I hope I find a save room. But honestly, I'm just gonna transport back to base and save there, just in case. I have shit I need to do there anyways. The only thing that really sucks about this ability is, uh, or it's like, so like, Shockwave! I can use from across the room. And hit a whole ton of enemies. That's nice. 
Rigastorama, I have to basically be like right in front of them. So, eh. Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Good. But it'll be useful in boss fights, I'm sure. Hi, Miriam. What are we transmuting this time? Did I prepare anything last time? What? Hello. What was that? What was new? Cheese. Oh. I still don't know if I actually gave him the recipe. Johannes, how was it you figured out? Hold on. A recipe for a fine healing item. I don't know if I have to, like, give this to him or what. Because he hasn't said anything. Are you eating pro so, what'll it be? Also, no, I'm not eating at all because I don't have any rice. I wonder if I can buy some rice. It really would be good to start getting some of these upgrades for myself. What are items I already have shift for? Fried potatoes. Conditioning, that'd be good. <laughs> Potatoes fried in oil, which gets all over your hands. You won't care. <laughs> and then this pizza. Who the fuck am I gonna get pizza dough? I found a carriage that will take me across. What a coincidence. In the Temple of the Rainbow Glass, seek the demon carrying a stone statue. I hope I just run what into that. I'm really, I don't really want to, like, actually remember that. Thanks. Okay. We can buy... Rice seeds. Rice that has been kept for planting. You could use it to create more rice. Now the only problem is, I don't know if I transmute that directly, or if I have to like, fucking grow it. It looks- I mean, they're seeds. They're different from everything else, which has been like, a direct purchasable. Is this right? Any thanks? I should probably use the long sword for Thank a bit. You. I also have to make her rice balls. Hi, Miriam. So, hey, Johannes. What it be? Oh, I can make pizza dough. I have to make the pizza dough so that I can make the pizza. So, rice balls, uh, rice and halat. Halite, or halite. I can't make rice, though. Okay, I'm being really stupid with that, like, <laughs> So if you press X, you can get rid of the first time bonus to see if it affects your resistances, but it only affects it one item at a time rather than permanently disabling it, and that just threw me for a loop, because, like, it should just, if you press X, everything you see from that point on should be, uh, shifted, but that's not at all what happened. Alright. Well, I guess at some point I'm probably gonna be able to grow, uh, food items, or at least, like, Rice and potatoes. I almost said milk. That would have been a fuck up. <laughs> you, I can't wait to grow milk. Mmm. Fresh milk right off of. Well, I guess the farm would still be a place where you get milk, but man. Now what we're we looking for. Throw a bone in the designated direction. Tell me, what exactly is the Liber Logayeth? A book. Written by an alchemist named John D. It's written in Enochian script, which is said to be the language of angels. The book has the power to summon good spirits. But demons are not good spirits. Power is power. If you can summon good spirits, then all it takes is some changes to the structure of the rite. 
to summon something else entirely. I suppose that makes sense. Few researchers come up with some wild ideas. Yeah, wild's definitely one way to put it. All right. Well, I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break because I have some stuff I need to do. And then when we're back, oh look, it shows you the location of, uh... I'm guessing these are all the different... Actually, yeah, I don't know what the fuck these are. I was gonna say I thought these were the... Journal entries that we've been finding, but I'm not fully sure because there was a journal entry here, although I don't actually know if I clicked on it this time around. I might have just killed the demon and ran out. Uh, whoops. But for now, I do need to take a little break. So be right back. <laughs> 